Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to get Half-Life up and running on your Raspberry Pi. In the first half of this video I'm going to show you how to install and set up Half-Life using PyKiss. And in the second half of this video I'm going to show you how to get it to run at around 100 FPS. But before you get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now let's get started. First of all, you're going to have to open up the terminal and update your Pi by typing sudo apt update. And sudo apt y dist upgrade. Once you've done that, reboot your Pi by typing sudo reboot. After that, if you haven't already, you're going to have to install a tool named curl by typing sudo apt-get install php5-curl. Now that you've done that, you can install PyKiss on your Raspberry Pi. To do so, simply type the following command. To make things easier for you, I'll make sure to list all of the commands used in this video in the description below. Once you've installed PyKiss, open it up by clicking on the Raspberry in the top left corner of the screen and heading to System Tools. Before you go ahead and install Half-Life, I just wanted to point out that you have to own the game in order to be allowed to legally play it. With that out of the way, head to Games, Half-Life and hit Enter to install it. Once again, make sure you actually own Half-Life before installing it. The installation can take quite a while. Once you've installed Half-Life, you can open it up by clicking on the Raspberry in the top left corner of the screen and heading to Games. As you can see, Half-Life is running incredibly well at around 70 FPS. If you want to get Half-Life to run at around 100 FPS or more, you'll have to close the game. And open up the file manager. Then head to Games, Half-Life, Valve and open up the config file with a text editor. Now you'll have to locate FPS Max. This shouldn't be too difficult since it's listed alphabetically. Then change the value from 72 to 150 and save the file. Now open up Half-Life again and it should run at around 100 FPS. As you can see, Half-Life sometimes even runs at 130 FPS. Overclocking your power will help quite a bit in terms of overall performance. And if you want to find out how to do that, just click on the info card in the top right corner of the screen. But other than that, that will be it for today. I hope I helped you out and you enjoyed the video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. 
and if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.